In this video, I will talk about algebraic factorizations. It would be best if you can have a look on my previous video where I have talked about algebraic expansions as a prior knowledge before you watch this. Now, algebraic factorizations, um, the definition, it is about finding the common factor of an algebraic expression, getting the highest common factor, putting it into a bracket, and more importantly, it's a reverse process of expansions. If this is what you call as expansion, then the reverse process will be called as factorizations. I will show you uh, different factorizations. The first one is by taking out the common factors. Have a quick look. You have an algebraic expression, 5e plus 10. What are the factors for 5e? 5 multiplied by e. 2 times 5 times e. Observe, is there any common factors? Oh, this is just 2 times 5, I'm sorry. So the common factor here is uh, 5, and if this is the only common factor, and this is the highest common factor. We look for the highest common factor, so we pull it out, we take it out. So when we divide 5 e by 5, so no more 5, what is left is e plus divided by 5, 2. This is the answer after you have factorized it. You can check your answer by doing expansions, the reverse process of factorizations. You will get back the original expressions, meaning this is the right one. One more. 4x, so the factor, 4 multiplied by x, the factor here, it could be 2 multiplied by 6, am I right? But I think the best one is I take 3 multiplied by 4, so that I have the same factors, multiplied by x, multiplied by x. So 4, 4, x, x, highest common factor, 4x. 4x divided by 4x, what do you write? Not 0, right? Yeah, you should have 1. So you put 1 minus divided by 4, 3, x squared divided by x, so x. This is the answer after you have factorized it. So I've shown you how to do factorization by taking the common factor for two terms. Now I show you another example where you have four terms here. Now this is what you can try. You can take two in a group and see what you can have. Huh? Say this one. Any common factor? Right. X. Common factor. So you pull it out. X squared divided by X. You have only X. Plus Y. Another pair, common factor, 6. Take it out, what is left? x plus y. So do you stop here? You don't stop here when you have four terms. Observe carefully. What do you see? You have another pair of common factor. Bracket x plus y bracket x plus y. So what do you do when you have a common factor? You take it out. You put it in front. So what is left? x plus 6. So this is left. You write into another bracket. x plus 6. Your final answer. One more time. Let's try this one, common factor, and 3. 
three a b is left nine divided by three common factor b minus three d do we stop here no you have another common factor So you take it out. What is left, you put into a bracket. Taking out the common factor and you do the grouping. All right. And we have another type of factorizations where you have the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. Remember the format? x squared, x and c. ax squared plus bx plus c. Where the criteria here is a must be 1. 1x one squared, meaning x squared. Those are the examples. You have ax squared plus bx plus c. And a is 1. This is the situation. Right. When you have the situation like this, you know that you have two brackets for your answer and it started with the unknown here. So you just have to put in x and x. The only thing that you do not know is what to return after x, right? You do not know. Okay, this is simple, right? You have a question like this. Look at the constant, the only one with number. And then try to list out the factors for 14. Two factors. How do you get 14? Two factors. Um, 1 multiplied by 14. 2 multiplied by 7. Of course, you can have negative 1 multiplied by negative 14. Negative 2 multiplied by negative 7. Sure, you can do that as well. So when you look at these two, these two pair, when you add up these two numbers, meaning 1 plus 14, 2 plus 7. Which pair give you the answer of the number, the coefficient here? 9. Which one? Obviously, this is the one, right? So, 2 and 7 are the answer for this problem. So, you are going to put 2 here, positive 2 or negative 2 positive 2, 7, positive or negative, positive. So your answer is bracket x plus 2, bracket x plus 7. This is your answer. One more time. Okay, we have a situation where we have ax squared plus bx plus c and your a is 1, right? So I know the answer. It will be two bracket started with x started with x. I look at the number here. So the factors could be one multiply with negative eighteen, or of course negative eight, of course negative one multiply with eighteen. Two multiply with negative nine and 3 multiply with negative 6. So which pair will give me 7 when I add up? Uh, if I will have to guess, uh, maybe this one, right? I can get 7. Let's try and see. Uh, 2 plus negative 9. I have negative 7. Not 7, but negative 7. So what can we do? Um, close enough, just the sign is different. So probably this is what you can change. Maybe not negative 9. Maybe you should have negative 2 multiplied by 9. You still have negative 18, right? So if you have negative 2 plus 9, you have 7, right? The same thing. So meaning negative 2 is the answer. You put negative 2 here. 9 is the answer. You put 9, a positive 1. So this is your answer. Bracket x minus 2, 
bracket x plus 9. Okay? Alright. I show you another method where we call cross method. Uh, with this method, you can factorize this, uh, not only this kind of algebraic expressions. Uh, there are more you can do. So it will be good you can handle this. So this is what you do. x squared. What are the factors of x squared? You can have x times x, you have x squared. Negative 24, that's a lot, am I right? So let's this up. I only list out the half of it, huh? because you know the other half. What should be the answer? There, there should be eight pair, there should be eight pair here. Alright, so ask myself, which pair will give me negative five? Um, probably this one, I think. Let me try. Three and negative eight. If I have three plus negative eight, I will have negative five. Yeah, this is the right pair. So I put in three here. I put in negative eight here. Uh, what is the sign here? Okay, positive, right? Because not stated. So and you do the cross multiplications. Now uh, you do you multiply it. X times three. 3x negative 8x so you do the addition here 3x plus negative 8 you have negative 5x same same the right pair this is how you write your bracket x plus 3 x minus 8 your answer one more all right cross methods x squared x times x 16 1 16 2 8 4 4 which pair when you add up the two corresponding number, which pair will give you 8? Mm, properly this one. If you have 4 plus 4, you have 8, but this is negative 8. So what do you need to change? You change 4 multiplied by 4, you change it to negative 4 multiplied with negative 4. These are the factors of 16 as well, right? So if you go for negative 4, multiply by negative 4, when you add up these two numbers, you have negative 8. So this is the right pair. So you put negative 4 here, you put negative 4 here. Let's try and see. Multiply it, negative 4x. Multiply it, negative 4x. When you add up, negative 4 plus negative 4. You have negative 8x, the right one. Meaning this is the right pair, this is the right pair. x minus 4 bracket x minus 4. You don't stop here. Why? These two are the same value. Meaning you have something like this. Bracket A, bracket A. When you have bracket A, bracket A, what do you write? A squared. Right. So your final answer here should be x minus 4 bracket to the power of 2. Factorizations. Alright. Thank you.